careful. Thanks for the help, guys. Blades has been on me to tidy my space in the student lounge. Doesn't help imply you carry stuff, too? Somebody needs to see where we're going. Most thoughtful. So where are we taking this junk anyway? It's not junk, it's treasure. You never know when you'll need an inflatable palm tree or a monkey that tells you the time. It's time for coconut! Ugh, like we're all sad, junk. How about in here? Last time I looked, this room was empty. No, wait, you can't go in there. Why not? Because it's full of uh, extremely dangerous, uh, totally toxic stuff. Oh, fine. I guess you were going to see it sooner or later. Ah! Oh. <gasps> wow. I knew Bumblebee was your favorite rescue bot, but this? You think it's a little over the top? Of course not. Not at all. No. It's way over the top. Hey, isn't that the Sigma? Come on! Don't listen to them. They're just jealous. Everyone knows you're the best. The Poots, just in time. Say hello to your new guest teacher for the day. And my bestest old buddy. No way! Hey, everybody. Beeblebum? I mean, uh, <clears throat> Bumblebee? It's an honor to meet you, sir. It's Wedge, right? You know my name? It's great to meet you. Uh, it's me to great you too, sir. I, uh, I mean... <laughs> I know what you mean. Don't worry. Just a little slip of the voice modulator. I'm sure you'll impress him later. I really hope so. Can you believe it? A lesson with the bee himself! And knowing Bumblebee, it'll be the coolest rescue sim ever. Recruits, today we're going to cover one of the most important things in rescue bot training. Told you. In fact, today is what I like to call, here it comes, maintenance day. Huh? M -m mate now what day? It's all about preparation, overhauling cool tools, refueling Energon, and first up, checking for rust. So grab some equipment and let's get to work. Rust checks. <sighs> Seriously, how am I going to impress Bumblebee doing rust checks? It's the least heroic thing ever. Check all the nooks and crannies. That's the trick. A trick? You're right. What if this maintenance day stuff is just a trick? Aw, oh, man. Not another rust spot. Don't worry, Hotshot. Rust spots are like rescue missions. They'll always show up. You've just got to know where to look. Hear that? Rescues. You've just got to know where to look. And that means what? Exactly. It means what he really wants us to do is go look for a rescue. Everyone, listen up. Blades and I are heading into Griffin Rock to pick up supplies for later in the lesson. You guys stay here and keep going. I'll be back. Into town? Don't you get it? Bee's only going so he can watch us get out there and find a rescue mission. Have you got rust in your audio circuits? Bumblebee clearly said stay and do maintenance. That's just what he wanted you to hear, but I'm going to do what he wants us to do. I can't believe it. There's so much to catch up on. Like how Chase is funnier, Boulders had a new paint job, and Heat Wave. Well, Heat Wave's still Heat Wave. You're doing a great job with these recruits, and hopefully I can make them ready for any rescue. Don't worry, B. I'm on it. If only I could find someone that needs rescuing. Wait. That old lady. Hello there, ma'am. I see you're trying to cross this busy and dangerous road. <laughs> what? Stop! Helpless old lady who needs my assistance coming through. But I didn't want to cross the road. I was waiting for my son. Uh, uh, sorry, everyone. My bad. Can I please go now? Uh. 
Now this is more like it. Just the place to find a real rescue. But instead, there's just you. Which would be great if you were stuck in the tree. Oh, wait! I didn't mean... Uh... It's good that you're not stuck in a tree. You scared away my cat. Don't worry, sir. I'll get it. <laughs> Whoa! Sorry. Ugh. Come on, Wedge. You can do this. If you can just find a good rescue. It's a disaster. How are we ever going to save it? Someone needs saving. We can still rescue it, honey. All we need to do is... Call a rescue recruit. Don't worry, folks. Wedge is here. Who needs saving? Our daughter. Is she stuck down a well, lost in the woods? It's her birthday. She's having a costume party. But the clown we ordered never showed up. What? But a show by a real-life rescue bot recruit? That would totally save the day. You can juggle, right? Oh, honey, I bet he can even ride a unicycle. I... Uh, what? It's too small. He's right. <sighs> this hmm? is way more your size. The kids will be so excited! Mommy, where's the clown? Forget the clown. Mom's got something better. So please welcome the awesome, the amazing Wedge! Rescue that! Medics to Wedge, do you read me? Hey, Medics. What's up? Where are you? You're way behind on your maintenance. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a little busy right now. Oh, no. Hey, Bumblebee, come back! Best clown ever! Yes, sir. Yes. Yep, that's what good maintenance feels like. Sorry I'm late, sir. I was just uh, checking my levels of... Uh, Whipped cream? Energon. After all that maintenance, I think you guys have earned a sim rescue. Finally, a chance to impress. At the top of this mountain are hikers trapped on a rope bridge. Your mission is to get them to safety. Your time starts now. Okay, let's think. Wheels are no good in snow. So Hotshot and Whirl, you go on ahead. You got it. Okay, guys. Visor's down, and let's go. Wait, I, I can't see. My visor's dirty. Because you missed lesson three of maintenance day, visor cleaning. Well, at least this one seems... <laughs> and lesson four, overhauling cool tools. Uh, listen, why don't you guys go ahead? I'll bring up the rear. You sound a little rusty. Me? No, uh, I'm fine. Go, save the climbers, hurry! Oh, boy! This is going to take all five of us. I hear you, Hotshot, but where's Wedge? Oh, oh, checking Energon levels? Oh, oh. Oh, perhaps maintenance day wasn't so pointless after all. I'm glad you finally realize it. Bumblebee? Oh, sorry, my Energon level's a little low. Is that because instead of doing maintenance, you were busy helping old ladies cross the road? And that cat, wow, could it move? You saw that? I was trying to impress you. Truly impressive rescues are only possible if you look after the tools of the job. Now, what do you say you get prepared and show me what you can really do? Okay, team, the sim is reset, and with everyone prepared, including Wedge, you should save these climbers in no time. Speaking of Wedge, where is he? Come on, guys! I found a safe way up the mountain. Let's go! Wow, prepared and enthusiastic. He keeps this up, he'll get his own Heroes of Cybertron card.
Ready, rescue bots. Ready, let's roll to the rescue. We need you to reach the off valve. It's the only way to stop the dam from completely collapsing. Hurry. You can count on me. Pause simulation. Simulation failed. Wet, what are you doing? Some advanced training. I like to take Bumblebee's role in rescue bot missions. Not very successfully, it seems. I've got to get it right. But your skill sets don't match. Bumblebee's a sports car. You're heavy machinery. You'll never complete a sim as Bumblebee. You'll see. One day, I'll be just like B. And Milford is getting into the spirit of Halloween, excited that tonight, the town will be overrun by ghosts and monsters. That doesn't sound exciting. It sounds super dangerous. We can handle a few monsters and ghosts. Right, medics? Scientifically speaking, there's no proof that ghosts even exist. Ooh. <gasps> oh. Happy Halloween, recruits. Happy Halloween to you two. What's Halloween? And why is it so happy? And how can anyone tell you're happy when you're wearing a mask? Sounds like it's time for another human culture class. Halloween's an Earth holiday that celebrates everything spooky. We dress up in fun costumes and have jack-o'-lanterns. Pleased to meet you, Mr. O'Lantern. That's just what you call a carved pumpkin with a light in it. You can make any design you want on them. Wow, how did you make the spider spin all these webs? Oh, it's not real. So the webs are fake too? Exactly, that's what Halloween's about. Make believe spooky fun. And every year, Milford has a big Halloween festival to celebrate. <laughs> and of course, the best part is trick or treating. You visit houses and people give you free candy. Mm -hmm. oh! Say hello to my special bot o lantern. Nice, Whirl. Here, have some candy. I understand why humans would want free candy, but why does that necessitate dressing up in costume? It's part of the tradition. And it's fun to be somebody else for the day. Wait, can you be anybody you want? Anyone or anything. I wish we could go to that Halloween festival. Then we'd really understand the holiday. Yeah, too bad it's in Milford. We can't let the humans see us. <gasps> we could go in vehicle mode. No need. On Halloween, everyone's dressed up, so you won't stand out, even in bot form. I'm going to Milford for the party tonight. If you want to come, meet me at the ground bridge at dusk. We'll be there. Hey, where's Wedge? We haven't seen him since class. We thought he'd already be here. Wedge can't make it. But I can. Whoa. You look just like... Bumblebee. Wow, that's a great costume. It's not too much yellow, is it? Are my shoulders too big? You look awesome, Wedge. Um, B? Exactly how long have you had that in your closet? Come on, guys. Halloween doesn't wait for anyone. Not even Bumblebee. Wow, everything looks spooky and cool. Cody, how should we behave around the humans? Should we observe or interact? Just be yourselves. Wow, cool robot costumes. Why, thank you. I think she means me. It's obvious who she was looking at. Yeah, Bumblebee! Hmm. 
Come on, everybody. Let's go have some fun. Um, treat us to a trick? <laughs> no, it's trick or treat. Can we get a photo? Now I know what it's like to be a rescue bot legend. I need a photo of us. Robot. Huh? You can't be serious. Tricks and treats is the best! Look! Uh, where's the candy, Hoist? Oh, I threw that away. But look in my collection of wrappers! <laughs> oh no! The wolf ate a human! Sorry, he's just really in character. Now do you get Halloween? It's about having fun. The spooky stuff's all just for pretend. But some things look so real, like that fire over there. Uh, that's because it is real. Let's roll to the rescue. Look, there are humans trapped inside. I'll call the fire department but I don't know if they can make it through the Halloween festival in time. Then it's up to us. Let's rev up and roll out. As Bumblebee would say. Oh, hey, pretty cool, right? All part of my Halloween costume. This way to safety. The humans are at the top of the house. We gotta be quick. Let's bust down the door and get them out. I'm being Bumblebee. It's what he'd say. Running out of water over here! It's me and you, B. We gotta save that family. I got you! Sorry, guys. I was only doing what Bumblebee would do. But you're not Bumblebee. You're Wedge. And right now, if we're going to save those humans, we need Wedge's help. I can shoot one of my cables to the window. Excellent thinking, Hoist. <sighs> Guess I'm stuck being plain old Wedge. Whirl, once Hoist secures his cable, you can zip line the family to safety. Got it! But we need to put the fire out before you zip line down. Uh oh. Cable ready! I'm in position. That's it, I'm out! We need something else to put out the fire. Wedge, any ideas? It's not what B would do, but... Wedge would use his strength. The fire trucks are on their way. Well done, Wedge. Bumblebee would be proud. Excuse me. Can we have another photo? <sighs> sure. No, of you! You are amazing! I don't know what to say. You saved us. But how did the fire start? The candles in the knocked over pumpkins. It's a good reminder that even though Halloween's fun, we gotta be careful to keep it safe. Can we at least thank the people inside the robot costumes? Uh, your safety is thanks enough. Plus, these take forever to put on. Yeah, like our whole life. I think that's our cue to leave. All right, yeah! That's how it's done. Recruits, if I could have a word, especially you, Wedge. <sighs> Sorry, Professor Heatwave. I got carried away dressed as Bumblebee. But the team made an excellent rescue. And that was an impressive final save. It's good to look up to our heroes, but it's always better to be yourself. I think I know that now. But there is one other thing. Ooh. <laughs> Happy Halloween, recruits.
Attention recruits. Once you have freed the stranded vehicles, join medics at the bridge to assist in directing traffic. Affirmative, Professor Chase. Directing traffic? Medics must be having the time of his life. Bridge closed. Turn back or take alternative route. Pay attention, citizen. Driving is serious business. We were supposed to help you, but it looks like there's nothing left for us to do. When one follows protocol, the job is quickly accomplished. And now we are free to assist Hotshot and Whirl. Look, Hotshot, new record. Most snow prize ever. <laughs> Only five seconds left. Can Hotshot win the game? Four, three... Oh! What in the name of... Okay, if that's how you want it. <laughs> Incoming! Hang on, Hotshot, I'll save you! Stop! Professor Chase hasn't dismissed us yet, which means we're still on duty. So, ooh, ooh, <laughs> enough! Rescue work is serious business. There's no time for snow play. But we already took care of the emergency. There's nothing wrong with having some fun after the job's done. Yeah, you just need to get a sense of humor, medics. Attention recruits, you are now relieved of duty and can return to headquarters. Now you can officially have fun. Huzzah! Too late. <sighs> Do you always have to be such a stick in the mud? Psst! Whirl! Hey, medics! Oh, are we playing hide and seek? Can you explain why everyone is upset with me? I would think being a stick in the mud is a good thing, to let you know how deep the puddle is, for example. It's just a saying humans have. It means somebody who ruins a good time for everyone else. By using a stick. What? No. So it's the mud that stops the fun? Now I see. What I'm trying to say is, maybe it wouldn't hurt to try what Wedge said. Loosen up. Laugh a little more. Just have fun. Loosen up. Hmm. I'm not sure how this leads to having fun, but... Medics, are you ill? Oh, uh, no, sir. I was... I was attempting to loosen up. It was a suggestion from my fellow recruits. They think I need to learn to... Have fun. Ah, uh, yes, I understand exactly. You would not think it to look at me now, but in the past, I too was accused of being a muddy stick. You? But in time, with help from Cody, I learned how to loosen up, tell jokes, and win friends. Professor Chase, is it too much to ask if... I would be happy to help. I'm confident that in no time, you too can be the life of the party. We'll start with the basics. I have found that when someone is having fun, they usually laugh. So the opposite is true as well. If we laugh, the fun will come. Ha 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 Perhaps that wasn't basic enough. A few elementary lessons in comedy may prove fruitful. My studies show that what humans find funniest of all, other than odd bodily noises, is this, a pratfall. <laughs> <gasps> That's horrible. Don't worry. He is not hurt and only pretending to fall to make others laugh. Odd behavior, I know, but humans find it to be of high comic value. I have asked Tough Luck Chuck to help show you the many types of pratfall. Next, how to relax. Is there something wrong with your back, sir? Not at all. I am being what humans call cool. I am, in fact, so cool that I refuse to sit up straight. You try. Oh, uh, how is this? Excellent. You may also try noises that show that you are not serious about anything. Observe. <clears throat> eh. All right, all right, all right. Oobly shoobly. Fascinating. Props can also help one become the life of the party. Juggling balls, a lampshade for your head, and the surefire laugh seltzer bottle finish. Let me demonstrate. Chuck. Hmm, 
I still don't find it funny, but I see how others might, like the snowball fight. I believe you're catching on. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Chase. Hey. Good. Go now and be humorous. There we were, right in the middle of the meteor storm. Our ship hit on all sides. We didn't know what was coming next. Hello, everyone. I'm walking over to you now. Are you all right? Be careful. I promise. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Medics, are you feeling okay? Better than okay. Cool and fun and loosened up. <laughs> what are you wearing? Better question. What happened to the real medics? But I am the real medics. Wedge means that you're acting different. You're not yourself. Well then, perhaps I'm Optimus Prime. <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into you, medics, but you're hilarious. Recruits, we are needed again in Griffin Rock. Uh-oh, we better hurry. The ice and snow have knocked down some power lines near an intersection. Rescue recruits, roll out! Come on, team, let's go! Medics, are you all right? Of course I am. That is what is known as a pratfall, done for your entertainment, as is this. What are you... <coughs> stop! <laughs> Medics, stop. What is going on with you? There's no reason we can't have a good time while on a rescue. Actually, there is. Rescues are about safety. You need to get serious, medics. Keep your mind on the mission. Live electric cable, ice, broken pole. What do we do first? Medics, what's the protocol for a downed power line? All right, all right, all right. All right, what? Ha <laughs> ha! I am having such a good time on this rescue. Come on, medics. We need your help. Well, if I weren't having such a good time, the first thing I'd do would be to stand guard over the ends of the power line to make sure no one comes near. Like that car driving toward them now. Next, I would follow the wire back to its source and turn off the power there. Hurry, before another car comes. I see the power box, but we need to get up there and cut through those branches. Any ideas? I have three. Ta-da! Medics, come on, knock it off. I'm doing what you ask. Loosen up, laugh, have fun. Oh, ah. we did ask for that, huh? But we didn't ask for it now. This is an emergency, and we need the old medics to help us. But I thought you didn't like the old medics. We never said that. We just wanted you to have more fun with us after a mission. Yeah, there's a time for laughs and a time for being serious. And on a rescue, serious, logical, rule-following medics is the best bot for the job. Well, in that case, Wedge, how about a boost? Chase was right. That is a surefire finish. Good Great going, job. Pal. That's the medics we know. The medics, we owe you an apology. This whole mess was our fault. I am sorry as well, but relieved that there is a time and place for fun. It's exhausting trying to be the life of the party every moment. Wow. Uh, medics, you can stop now. That was not intentional.
And the clock's running down on round four of the Rescue Bots Academy Searchathon. No way one of us is going to find a needle in this thing. Uh, wait! Ah, a breakthrough! Whirl's using the electromagnet. <laughs> Smart thinking, Whirl. What? Hey, Blades, you didn't say we could use tools. I didn't say you couldn't. A good rescue bot needs to use any advantage in a search. There could be lives at stake. Woohoo! And round four goes to Whirl. Way to go! Good thinking. Excellent work. Nice. Okay, recruits. Hotshot dug up the treasure. Medics located the missing sock. And Wedge, you found my office keys. Everybody's won around except... Oh, I know. Pressure's on, buddy. Don't worry. I have a feeling you'll win the next round and catch up with us. Not just catch up. Round five is the hardest search yet. So whoever wins it gets... The grand prize! That sounds exciting. What is it? A chance to choose the setting for our next sim in Hero Hall. Ooh! Wow! Yeah! Racetrack, here we come! I'm going to hide Tough Luck Chuck somewhere in Griffin Rock. I'll come back to get you, then we'll all search for him together, and whoever spots Chuck first wins the event. And the grand prize. You stay here, Chuck. I'll fire up the bridge. I know what location I'm going to pick when I win. A rescue in a zoo. Don't get your hopes up. We're all going to be taking laps on that racetrack. Someplace from Bumblebee's greatest hits. Any of them. A Cybertron-based rescue exercise might be interesting. I've been reading this amazing Earth book about the gold rush. Wouldn't that make a super fun sim? Let's go, Chuck. Chuck, you dropped this. Uh... Hey, guys, Chuck dropped this. I, I think it might be... Okay, everyone. Time to go Chuck searching. Think you can win this one, Hoist? I'm not sure. I... I mean... <sighs> Is there something else you wanted to say? Um... No. No, sir. Okay, then. Let's fly. Fly? Things look different from up above, so keep a good lookout. We'll do one pass over the terrain, then I'll take you down to follow your leads and try to find Chuck. Anybody see anything? Like I'd tell you if I did? Flyover is complete. Okay, recruits, go find Chuck. Uh, I just don't feel right about this. On the other hand, it's no different than Whirl using the electromagnet. <sighs> Except that she did it out in the open. Maybe I should just leave him here and let somebody else find him. But if this were a real emergency, I wouldn't do that. Like Blade says, it's all about the rescue. Any luck, anyone? Uh... Yes! I found him! I have Chuck! Yes! You pulled it all together! You can do it! I'm very impressed. You have a great eye hoist. <laughs> Thanks. And your prize is all ready. The Old West. Huh? It's just like I pictured it. People came to old mining towns like this to look for gold. Yeah, still think a race course would have been better. It was hoist pick. He won fair and square. Right, hoist? Yeah, well, I, I guess so. Glad you're all up for it, because the search-a-thon is still on! This sim exercise is also about observation, and here to tell you all about it is a real gold miner. Well, a simulated real gold miner. Recruits, meet Gold Pan Pete. Okay, Greenhorn, listen up. This is what you're looking for. Gold nuggets, gold dust, and gold flakes. Like your pal told you, you either dig for it or you pan for it in the stream. And if you find any, you do what all miners do and yell, Eureka! You what, uh? Say it after me. Eureka! Ooh, ee -ah. Irina! Yerk Baba! Ooh, ee -ah. Of course, if you're having trouble finding the shiny stuff, the quickest way to get at it is with a little of this. I know my. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's all about observation. As an extra incentive, 
whoever finds the most gold will not only win the entire searchathon, but get a week off from their regular chores around the HQ. Ooh. But be ready for anything, because there may be a twist or two along the way. Enough dead gum yakking. Let's get horn swoggling. I did not understand a thing you just said. Hey, I reaped it. If they go low, I go high. Hmm. You, Rika! A methodical, careful search is the best way to... Oh! Aha! Eureka, indeed! Not much Rika here. Oh, I must be doing something wrong. Or maybe I shouldn't even be here in the first place. Eureka! Time for the game changer. <gasps> oh my. Gold Pan Pete! Where are you? I heard the explosion. What happened? I don't know. But I saw Gold Pan Pete down here earlier, and now I can't find him. We better tell Blades. Professor Blades, there's been an explosion. Why are you telling me? This is a searchathon, remember? So get searching. Find Pete. <laughs> find him? He could be anywhere on this side of the mountain. We'll have a better chance of spotting him from above. Good thing you're here, Hoist. I'll fly you up so you can look for him. Um, maybe you should just look by yourself. You'll cover more ground quicker, and, and I'll be more help searching down here. What are you talking about? You're the best sky searcher of all of us. You proved that. I... No, I'm not. I didn't really find Chuck. I mean, I, I did, but I knew where he was going to be. <gasps> I found his map. You cheated? Hoist, I'm surprised. I just never would have expected that from you. Hot shot, maybe, but... Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in me myself. We can talk about this later. Right now, I need to get up there and start looking for Pete. Blades told us about the explosion. Better get digging, huh? from Hoist's position, just over the ridge to your left. I'm coming, Pete. Well, fleece my hat and call me a buffalo. Glad to see you, Greenhorn. Are you OK, Mr. Pete? Can you walk on your leg? Walk on it? I could dance a jig. Congratulations, Hoist. Pete has a reward for you. I'm handing over the whole dadgum steak to you. All my gold nuggets. Enough to win the game. I can't take these. I dug them out, but World's the one who found him. Well then, little lady, I reckon my thanks belong to you. You're giving up the win? Why? I don't deserve it. I shouldn't even be here. None of you should. What are you talking about? That's what I'd like to know. Truth is, I didn't win round five fairly. Chuck dropped this map. I knew where he was going to be. Wait, Hoist cheated? No way. Well, I'd expect that from me, but... And I'm sorry. You said a good rescuer uses every advantage, but... That was just an excuse that I gave myself. I just wanted to prove that I was a valuable member of the team. Boys, don't you know? You are a valuable member of the team. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. It feels good to come clean. And with that new information... Tarnation, look at that. Reckon World won't be doing chores for a mighty long while. <laughs> Medics in second place, Wedge third, Hotshot fourth, and last but not least... That's okay, Pete. I don't need gold. With friends like these, I already won. 
Seems like a waste of a good rock wall to me. Oh, but how can you not like it? It's a monument to you. It's a publicity stunt by the mayor. The people of Griffin Rock don't need a Mount Botmore to remember the rescue bots. Our deeds speak for themselves. Totally. But those are kind of hard to put on a t-shirt. <sighs> hey, Heatwave. Are these the new recruits you brought to help us? Wish I'd known what the project was first, but yeah. What better way to learn about humans than working side by side with them? And we appreciate it. Come on, I'll give you all the tour. While our sculptors work up there. We load the fallen rock down here. Then workers take it past the dam, where the rock is reused to make the monument's entrance. When we're done, everyone will be able to see your faces from town. I can't wait. Sir, this is so exciting. I wish I shared your enthusiasm. To be fair, I am not certain one can ever be as excited as Whirl. Are you mad because they made your helmet too small? Ugh, great. I hadn't noticed that. The point is, rescuing's not about glory. It's about doing your job. And speaking of jobs, it's time for us to get to work. Hey, hey, you up there, look out! Ah! Help! Somebody! I'll fly up and get him. Wait, your rotors will hit the rock if you get too close. It's not safe for you or the human. Hotshot, you can save him. Transform into a jet. Those don't have rotors. Neither do hovercrafts. Seriously? You already picked your rescue mode for the day? I can change it in 16 hours. I'm not sure we have 16 seconds. <laughs> Whirl, shield the humans. Yes, sir. Ah! Don't worry, I'm ready to rock. You four, go save that worker. I'll stay down here to catch him, just in case things go wrong. Platform solid. Hit it, hot shot. Ready, hoist. Ready. Look out below! Yes, it's a catch, and the crowd goes wild. What? In my head, there's a crowd. I just want to say thanks. After that rescue, you recruits should have your own monument up there. That's a great idea. Hotshot, I believe that was what humans refer to as joking. Why? There's space. Look, we can put our faces there right below blades. I don't think the world needs a bigger version of your head. Over here, team. I need a hand with these rocks. Huh. Hmm. On it! Whoa! He volunteered faster than me. Sometimes that bot does not compute. Huh? So that's why you wanted to help? Oh, um, this is just what our monument could look like. We'd be way smaller than the rescue bots. Hotshot, don't you remember what Heatwave said? No drag racing in the hallway? I think hoist means the part about how we do rescues to help others, not for the glory. But what's the point of being a hero if nobody knows about it? The celebrating's the best part. Here we go. When I won the cube finals back on Cybertron, they put my face up on the big screen for the whole crowd to see. I already told that story? At current count, 462 times. Oh. Come on. Helping people is way more fun than having your face on the side of a mountain. How can you be so sure? Hmm. Staring at those big faces all day? I'll be seeing rescue bots in my sleep. <gasps> yeah, I definitely need a break.
The team deserves to know how amazing it feels when everybody looks up to you. Then they'll get it. Well, might as well start with me, I guess. Looking good. What do you think, Rock Me? Why, thank you. I'm glad you agree. Huh? Could be a problem. Uh, wow! uh, hey, cool bird. <laughs> um, not so cool. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. <gasps> Oof, that didn't hurt much. Uh. Well, that's one rock moved. Maybe I'll just go help Wedge and Hoist. <gasps> the head! Oh, that? Look, I can explain. No, he means the head! <gasps> ah! Talk about a metaphor. Hotshot's giant head is going to wreck the whole town! Should we do something? Nah. Five more minutes left on our coffee break. Uh, I just had to be a hovercraft today, didn't I? Hot shot! Jump on! Whoa! How is this safer? Don't worry. I've activated my dorsal magnetic chassis. Maybe if I understood any of that, I'd feel better. Your feet are now stuck to my back. Also, duck. Huh? <gasps> Time to slow your roll! <laughs> Not what I had planned! If we can't stop that head, maybe we can smash it. Hey, I worked hard on that thing. Uh, guys, we have a big problem. Bigger than a giant bouncing noggin? Yeah. The dam's about to burst. It must have been damaged by all that drilling on the rock wall above it. You two, get these workers to high ground. I've alerted the other rescue bots, but I'm not sure they'll get here in time to help. It's up to us to stop that head and plug this dam. Recruits, roll to the rescue. We can figure out how to save the day if we think hard. Come on, everyone, use your head. That's it. Great. Um, what's it? I'm going to use my head for real. Medics, can you pull alongside that thing? Whoa, steady. I am unclear on the plan. It's like World told me, helping people is fun. It can even be a blast. Now the giant head is going to crash into the dam. All part of my plan. We just need a ramp in front of it. On it! Wedge, can you get me some rocks? Uh, I hope this is enough. Perfect! Clear! Can't hold this much longer. We won't have to. Look! No more. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Well done, Hotshot. Thanks, but I'm gonna miss that big guy. Ah. <laughs> nice work today, team. Engineers are reinforcing the mountainside and the dam should be safe from now on. So Mount Botmore will still open on time? Unfortunately, yes. I think I finally get it, Chief. Doing good makes you feel great. You don't need any other reward besides that. Well, technically, your head is still on display. I think it's your best side. 